In 2013, an anti-abortion group at Notre Dame University, uh, a group called Faculty for Life, uh, which is not like faculty with tenure, it means faculty against abortion rights, um, they ran this full-page ad criticizing the Roe v. Wade Supreme Court decision and affirming their commitment to the right to life, their commitment to making it illegal for a woman to get an abortion in the United States. Uh, as you can see, Amy Coney Barrett signed on to that ad as a law professor. She's right there near the top. Again, this was 2013. Uh, Amy Coney Barrett was a confirmed as a federal appeals court judge four years later in 2017. She was nominated to the U.S. Supreme Court this year in 2020, but Professor Barrett didn't disclose to the Senate, to the senators considering her nominations as a judge, uh, she didn't mention that she signed on to this ad until late last Friday when she included it in a supplemental filing that was submitted to the Senate Judiciary Committee. In that filing, she also just remembered to mention that she had given two talks to anti-abortion student groups, talks that she had never previously disclosed. These are all things that you would have expected her to disclose initially, right, given that abortion is a live issue in the courts and judicial nominees are supposed to disclose statements that they have made that might give senators an in inkling of their position on issues before the courts. Here's something that's even more curious, though. I, I want to show you another ad. This one is two pages. It ran um, a few years earlier, it ran in 2006. And on one side of the ad, you can see it says, quote, it's time to put an end to the barbaric legacy of Roe versus Wade and restore laws that protect the lives of unborn children. It calls Roe versus Wade, quote, an exercise of raw judicial power. On the other page of the ad, it reads in part, we the following citizens of Michiana, which means I think the region around South Bend, Indiana and Southwestern Michigan, we the following citizens of Michiana uh, oppose abortion and defend the right to life from fertilization. Uh, one of the Michiana citizens who signed that was now Supreme Court nominee, Amy Coney Barrett. Uh, her signature on that ad was uh, first reported um, within the last few weeks, but it turns out that Judge Barrett has never disclosed her signature on that ad to the Senate Judiciary Committee, not in her initial Senate filing, not in the supplemental package that she submitted at the last minute on Friday. She has refused to mention it altogether. I mean, here's a judicial nominee saying in writing, I oppose abortion and Roe versus Wade is barbaric. That's like the definition of the kind of thing you're supposed to disclose to the Senate. If you've made public pronouncements like that and signed your name to things like that while you were being considered as a judge. But she's being considered as a judge and she has not disclosed that to the Senate even now. And whether or not Amy Coney Barrett continually refuses to acknowledge it, this is part of her record that she's trying to keep hidden